We told her she was adopted, Anna. It was simpler than telling her about our father's infidelity. But it was more than that. Anna had some destructive tendencies as a child, reminded us all of the old man himself. Our mother thought if Anna believed she wasn't one of us, she'd dodge our grandfather's genetic cruelty, as she called it. I never bought it. Cruelty isn't genetic. It's learned. Clovis chose to be evil, and Anna was just a child acting out after losing her father. But, in my original timeline, my dark future, Anna eventually found her own brand of cruelty, thanks to the darkness. It used her troubled past to manipulate her, and she wasn't strong enough to resist, and I... I had to put an end to it. To my little sister's life. There was no other choice. You killed Anna? In my dark future, yes. Truth be told, I miss her. But in this timeline, she doesn't even know that I'm alive. That's by my own design. This time, I kept her away from her past and from me to prevent the darkness from getting to her. But no matter what I do, it still finds a way. Eris Morn gave in to curiosity and brought the darkness. Aramis gave in to desire and built a dark empire. As with all things dark, they were both driven by obsession. Because that's where our fault lies. That's how darkness corrupts. I can't ignore it any longer. Keeping Anna away will only cause her obsession to grow and the darkness will find her. I must find her first. The decryption code worked. There's enough stasis research in here to hold us over for now, but there's a lot yet to decipher. And Anna should be here when we do. I'll let you know what's next once I make sense of it all.